Hey, so I wanted to describe something that I feel is one of the most important things in life, and that would be beliefs. And I, I've been thinking through why we have the patterns and habits and um, even traditions and customs that we follow. And I feel like <laughs> with all of the conversation of AI that's happening right now and we're trying to put artificial intelligence into even humanoid ro robots or different software technology and and we've been trying to make robots more human and I realized that as we're trying to map intelligence onto software something really interesting happened that I recognize is that actually humans, we are running software. It's like, oh, that's nice. Okay, I can kind of understand. Yeah, that makes sense. We we think, we follow this program. And I realize how literal it is. Um, when we, the way that we live, the way we go through our lives following patterns, um, here's how I'd like to compare uh, here's how it makes sense to me. I want to start with, remember the old technology of CDs. You, you would burn a CD. You would either buy software on a CD or you would buy it on, uh, or, or you would buy music on a CD and you would, you would, you know, put the headphones in, you'd listen to your favorite songs or whatever. And then maybe there's a song that you don't like. And so you'd have to skip over it or the, or the software gets updated, but you have old software and you have to throw away that CD. It's, it's read only. <clears throat> now later they came out with the read, write And you, you could actually um, update the software on the CD, but let's, let's say that our belief patterns, our beliefs, everything that we believe is like a CD. Like from when we were born, we grow up and we start to see, we observe all the patterns that we um, that our senses pick up uh, whether <clears throat> it's a mother uh, giving us her love whether it's a uh, um, you know siblings or f friends as we grow up or you know the school system teachers uh, the the tests that we learn or um, you know maybe family or parents or or caretakers who who tell us things again and again and again. You're not good enough. You have to try harder. You have to work at this. You have to do this. Sometimes it will happen in a way that imposes. Um, we see things again and again. We, we want things to work a certain way and it, it doesn't because there are these rules and structures that are um, the, the definitions. They're, they're programmed into life. At least we're told that they are. And we create belief systems. I'm not good enough. I'm not safe. I don't, I, I will never ha have enough. I can never be happy. I want to be happy. You need to be happy. You have to find somebody who really loves you. Love is the most important thing. You have to do this. You have to do that. And we get all these beliefs that, that get etched, that get burned onto like a CD. Okay. Maybe it's a mini CD. Maybe it sits in your brain as a, you know, like, like we have these little maybe rooms, these places where our, you know, the, the neurons as they fire, they, they go, they follow the patterns directly to a belief and how it works is we'll see something now as an adult, I'll see, um, somebody hurting somebody else. And I'm like, that is not okay. I can't handle somebody being abusive the way they talk or, or physically abusive or, or any other thing that is hurting somebody else. And I'll just be like, that's not okay. Why? What's happening? When I see that through my senses, my brain immediately funnels it over to the belief pattern that's etched on this CD, on this read only, um, uh, bank of information. And it calls on that and it says, no, I, I'm seeing this, it's a perfect match to what I know is wrong. And so now my software is designed to handle that in a certain way and to become, to follow thoughts and the thoughts create emotions and that those emotions are, you know, they release the chemicals and I become angry because that's how the thought process pattern matches to the belief system that's always there. It's permanent. It won't ever change. 
I always know that that's bad or that's wrong or that is dangerous. Uh, and, and then I see something else and I see um, somebody walking down the street and, you know, she's wearing a shirt and, and pants that don't match or, or those shoes definitely do not match that outfit. That is so wrong. Oh no, how could she wear that? I, I would be so embarrassed to wear something like that. Ugh, no, ew. You know, I, I wish people would wear nicer, or, you know, things that would match. Why can't she see that? What's happening? I observe somebody, again, same system, same pattern. That's just not right. Or maybe I go to the symphony and I listen to this music that's just the most beautiful, amazing, heartfelt, just, oh, it's so good. What's happening? Again, my senses, my ears are, are hearing this. I'm feeling this music and I'm like, this is so good. I can't believe how amazing this is. Again, I'm comparing it to maybe music I've heard in the past or it's better than, and I'm comparing it and I'm like, this is so good. And it releases all the positive chemicals into my system that ah, now I'm happy. This is, everything should be like this. So my software is always finding good or bad, right or wrong, uh, easy, hard, all these things compa comparing to different beliefs that I have. Most people, okay, part two now. Most people are like robots, right? We just want to um, follow what we're programmed to do. And in the system, it's all set up so that we can just proceed. We can go through our lives following the patterns that we are so used to. We get up in the morning, we eat breakfast. Oh, is this good or bad? Is the milk, oh, the milk doesn't smell good. It must be bad. Um, yeah, I should have gone to the store earlier and, and bought some new milk. Or um, we, <laughs> we go through the flow of our lives which it feels good and we're, we're taught to yeah, relax and then you have to work hard and you have to exercise and you have to do these things. But all these things are patterns that are, they're, they're separate, um, they're different patterns in our brain that just say, here's how to live your life. And we just follow that. And even when something traumatic happens, we still look for a belief pattern that we can reference and say, yep, I have to follow, you know, this is my code that my software can run against. And if I follow that, it will take care of me. It will be safe. And we don't live our lives. We just go through our lives. It's not active. We are passive. No matter how hard we work, no matter all the creative things that we try to do, usually we're still just following a passive flow through our lives. Now, there's nothing wrong with flowing. In fact, we we need to learn how to how to flow with bigger things. In fact, this is kind of like a tutorial for learning how to flow in a bigger universe of possibilities. But at this point, most people, I would say 99 point some high number percent of all people are just going to go through their lives doing what they're supposed to or what their beliefs, their belief patterns, these CDs, these read-only chunks of information tell them is right or wrong, good or bad, easy, hard. Um, and as we do that, we feel comfortable. Okay, now, now we grow up and we become adults. We finally are at a point where we can see it's strange how some of these things don't work. Um, some of the beliefs I had, some of the things I trusted, I believed in, don't quite fit reality. And we say, oh, the world must have changed before it worked so well. And now it doesn't. I wonder what's changed. I wonder why life is so hard now. Life is so different now. Um, and we can't figure it out. We're lost. We're stumped. How could it be so difficult now? And this is where the magic can happen. That is the foundation. That's the groundwork um, prepared that prepared us to start to actively think, to live. And I use that as a verb that living now is an active process 
of looking at what we've been doing and considering what might be better than what we've been doing. When we can think about something and when we see a problem with our old belief patterns, when something doesn't add up, it doesn't match, it doesn't, it doesn't work according to what our desires are, what we, what we feel could be better. We now have the opportunity to update our beliefs. And this is very, very, very difficult because all the neurons of these neural pathways for so many years have been designed to go to this CD, this belief pattern. And now we see that there's a conflict. It doesn't match what we observe. Um, I could give long stories about examples. Um, maybe I'll do that in a later video. So when I'm ready to recognize through awareness that this CD, it was good to take care of me when I was younger. It made sense. I was taught this and I followed this and I learned how to do it, but it doesn't work now. And I want to change it. Well, it's a lot of work to recreate because I can't update that old belief. I can't change it. It's stuck. I don't know, maybe I can, but this is my, this is my thought is that we have to create a new one. We have to, we have to come up with a new strategy. We have to write new software, new code that lays down a template for a new, this new CD that we can then burn and hopefully make it solid enough that it becomes a replacement. It becomes an upgrade or an update for this old one. And we now have to replace the old CD. We have to throw it away, which unfortunately a lot of us will go through this process, but instead of throwing it away, we take that old belief, that old CD, and we stick it under some books or some, you know, some memory, some, we find another place and we just kind of set it aside and we put the new belief in place and we start to live and we, we get on this, get on our high horse or, or our bandwagon and we say, oh, I have this new belief and it's the coolest thing. And we tell people about it or we practice it ourselves and we're so excited about our new belief. But then something traumatic again happens and we see, and suddenly it's a match for that old belief pattern and the neural patterns, even though we kind of buried it, it just, it finds it again and boom, it surfaces and, and we fall back into our old belief patterns, our old responses to the to this old CD, this old templated software that says this is what's right or wrong. And we follow that old flow, that old pattern. And then, oh, wait, what just happened? And we have to then go back and, and wait, 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 that was buried. I, I thought I lost, I thought I put that somewhere it shouldn't be active now. That should be buried in an archive somewhere. And we pick up, oh, okay, here's my new code and we refresh it. In fact, we try to make it stronger. We try to put it in a higher priority place. And we have to start practicing making these neural pathways again to when I see this situation, like we have to practice, right? Practice comes in where we have to make the connections to this new belief pattern and now, it may not be perfect. In fact, we may find holes in it. And later, we may have to rewrite our code and update the software and put a new CD in here. But this is what I call living. Where before, without doing this process, it's what I call dying. Like most people who are alive really aren't alive. They're in the process of dying. They're getting older. They live, they, they go through life just waiting till they get old and they die. Like they're, they're actively moving towards dying. They're not doing anything with life other than what they're pre-programmed to do through these patterns. What I am seeing that few, very few people are able to do is rewrite, is replace old belief patterns with new ones to try new not just updating their software that accesses the beliefs, but they're trying out new beliefs. And some of them don't work. We may try this and go, uh, yeah, that's not what I wanted. Um, we'll, we'll try an idea for a little while to, to, you know, meet new types of people or try a new job or try learning some new skill. Um, and we have fun with that for a while and we go, okay, that, that was great, but now I'll move on to something else and something else. A lot of people will, 
will you know use the old style of I'm uncomfortable and so I'll just try something new try something new but they're still following the old pattern of maybe I'll find happiness if I can just do more things if I can um, go to another country and meet a different type of person maybe that will change my life if I could just make more money if I could just um, improve my relationship maybe my my spouse needs to go to therapy so that you know if I can fix my spouse I'll I'll start feeling better <laughs> hmm and we don't figure out that it's our own beliefs that we need to get to the core of ripping those out probably destroying which hurts we destroying that belief because it's we have all these memories to say this is how we were supposed to live and we have to now tuck that away and say that's no longer my pattern i need but we have to replace it with something we have to now have a new pattern a new system that guides us to doing things that are more in line with what we um, are able to um, desire and, and flow with and now we start feeling more you know higher energies uh, universal um, uh, as, as we as we tap into that that flow of who we are getting to know ourselves better we can we can flow with that in such beautiful ways um, and suddenly we start to live we're no longer dying I mean each day may the body may fall apart get old but we're living not dying we're not moving towards death we're each, each day is a beautiful opportunity of life of feeling seeing the good in everything finding no matter what happens we see the good through there we see the reason the purpose and when there's conflict we seek to understand what is the bigger picture of the problem how can i redefine this how can i update these beliefs rather than just saying oh that's bad we get in we dig we ask deeper and deeper and deeper questions about ourselves about our environment and surroundings we practice things we study we study ourselves we feel we tap into everything around us that we can sense we find deeper senses ah oh, feels good doesn't it I think I'll wrap up at this point, but uh, thanks for listening. Have a wonderful, wonderful day. Thanks for feeling amazing. You're awesome. You're wonderful. <laughs>